everybody. Welcome to the start of the road to the Ratchet and Clank game on PS4. I, uh, USB one, also known as Freddy Fazbox. Let's get started, shall we? I'm gonna be playing through the entirety of the first Ratchet and Clank game today. Well, not the entirety of it. I'm gonna get started with it and play it for a couple of hours. Getting all the trophies and skill points, gold bolts, and just about as much progress as I can get so far. As you can see, on a completely different PS3 account, so... Everything is good there. Oh boy. It's been a while since I've played this game actually. So, Thank you for using playing it again and the rest of them in the series, it'll be a very enjoyable experience for me. Also, I apologize, I've been uh, feeling slightly under the weather, so if I cough every once in a while, please excuse that. Here's Clank. Clank has been birthed into the world as a supposed defect. Taking his baby steps. His mother must be so proud. I think I'm gonna skip through the cutscenes simply because I've seen them before and it's pretty much what we're doing here, so I'm just gonna skip through them. Can't really can I skip through this? I'm I'm not sure if I can. I don't think so, because this isn't really a cutscene per se. But uh yeah, let's uh let's get started, shall we? First things first, I'm going to mess with the camera controls because that that's much better. Okay. Subtitles, I'll turn them on. Sound, I'll turn up music slightly, turn down sound effects slightly. Okay, that's much better. Now, and uh, oh yeah. Also turn off help desk because I don't need that at all. Alright, so let's get started. I'm gonna head into Ratchet's Garage and I'm gonna break the crates that are in here because usually I end up skipping them for whatever reason. Uh, we're gonna get something like near 200 bolts already, so that's nice. Now, I'm not gonna be using the uh, bomb glove at all in this level. I'm purely gonna be using the wrench simply because. I want to conserve my ammo and will only use it when it gets to about full. So I'm gonna be only using the wrench throughout the tutorial level. Just gonna break some of these crates here. It's uh pretty in it's pretty it's Quite nostalgic coming back to this after not playing it for a while. It's, uh, it's definitely been a while. I'm not, I'm not using the bomb club is going to save me a couple bolts so that I can for sure buy the Pyrocitor whenever I get to the next level, which is Novalis, I think. Yeah. And then, that's when I'm going to start. Roasting them is left and right and any other direction. The slander shall commence in the form of a roast. A roast that only I can create. This 
something so addicting about breaking the crates as well. It's almost like you have to. Wait, well, I mean, you do kind of have to, considering what a game I'm playing and all, but generally speaking, right. I'm not putting up with your shit today. Shit ain't happening. That's what I thought. Okay. Oh, why you gotta run away? Hey. Still not gonna be using that bomb glove, though. Oh, you got me. Tell me more where that came from. There we go. Got this banana tech. Back to full health. You are not gonna get me with that lightning attack today. That is not happening. That is one big knock. not happening. Alright. And we're gonna end this place with about 1500 volts. That's not bad, considering that this is only the tutorial level. Like I said, just gonna skip through the cutscenes, just to get gameplay going through a little quicker. Basically what's happening now, and for anyone that doesn't know what this game is, this could be a problem. we're going to a planet that is being taken Apart by Chairman Drek's army. So you. So on, in Ratchet's homemade ship, that just kind of yeah yeah it just it just kind of explodes for. It's it's not actually told what reason that the ship crash landed. It's just kind of there, and it just kind of happens. I'm nobody well, sure why. Leaving the way we came in. Perhaps we could procure a ship from one of the inhabitants. If there are any left. Well, Clank's a backpack now, but uh, doesn't actually do anything. No weapons are available. Like I said, the Pyrocitor, but I don't have enough bolts for that, so... I'm gonna go through these two sections first, because the other two sections are filled with enemies, and that's where the Pyrocitor is going to shine. So I'm gonna get through the parts that don't have as many enemies first. This part's mostly just platforming, getting used to the jumping and stuff. Uh, it also holds a, a little bolt, which I'm going to get here in a sec. Wall jump up here, and there you go. Old bolt numero uno out out of forty. I'll probably get them all in a single run of this game, so that'll be nice. You thought you were good. Well, you thought wrong! I think I'm falling bomb. Yeah, I am fall on bomb glove ammo, so I can... I can I can sacrifice a couple of bombs now. If I really want to. Which I'm probably going to, because eh, it makes bolt collecting slightly easier. Not as... painful to... just sit through. I guess. I'm gonna continue collecting each tight each little bolt here, because every single bolt adds up, and there is a trophy to get one million bolts, which I'm going to be doing 
It's gonna take a couple of playthroughs of non-stop using the gold Tesla claw, but you know, I I'll do it. I'm not gonna glitch it. There will be no glitches here. Straight pl just glitchless playthrough of earning these trophies and everything else in this game legitimately. Provided no unintentional glitches happen. Odds are they will. Because, I mean, this series isn't that well known for that sort of thing. But, eh, you know. I'm anyway, gonna buy that. It's gonna set me back slightly on getting the Pyrocitor, but yeah, once I explore the other area, I should be able to get it. I mean, hey, almost 2,000 bolts already. The Pyrocitor is only 2,500, and that's a pretty damn good weapon, especially considering how early you get it. I mean, a fucking flamethrower in a game like this. It's pretty much a godsend. Especially considering all I've got is a, is a bomb glove. A generic, run-of-the-mill bomb glove. Yeah. If only Ratchet had been collecting bolts this entire time. He, uh, might have been able to get a, a little bit of a, I don't, I don't fucking know, some financial compensation or something, I don't fucking know. I'll get a couple of bolts that are down here, I don't want to die, so I'm just gonna, yeah, alright. Swimming mechanics in this game are very different from how they were in Spyro, which was directly before, or Spyro 3 came out before the first Ratchet and Clank, or the first Ratchet and Clank game was directly after Spyro 3, so you'll be able to see a couple of things that were, I guess, kind of in Spyro 3 that kind of made it over to this game, however, didn't really get any get anywhere in the later games. Also that uh that that thing is kind kinda of there. The my oxygen bubble is kind of there halfway in the screen. Yeah this game wasn't really made for widescreen as you can tell. It uh yeah, it, uh, it just wasn't. It, 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 it was... It just wasn't there yet. Did I miss any bolts? No, I did not. Alright. I'm gonna not make it. That, alright. I'm sure there's bolts down here. Nope. I'd be wrong. Alright. Bolts, always nice. All right. Rubber squawkers. I'm not gonna do shit. Cause I'm not gonna let them do shit. Also, was it this level that I remember? There is a cameo by Dan Johnson that he's on one of the mushrooms. I, f I, I forget which one that is. Is it uh, in Ratchet and Clank going Commando or is it in this game? I honest I can't remember. I think it's in this game. But I'm not sure. I, I, I can't remember. Oh, and also I'm just gonna get this gold bolt right here. If anyone knew that that was there and was expecting me to forget, you thought wrong. I, uh, I don't forget that sort of thing. Either way, I'm gonna have plenty to, uh, buy the Pyrocitor with, which will be more than useful in, the uh, next section of the level. See, one thing that I hate about the, like, the early game, Ratchet & Clank, or more so the first one, 
It's because you don't have many of the, the things that you use for mobility, such as the thruster pack, helipack, that sort of thing. You're just kind of walking around, and it's pretty slow compared to using the helipack. I forgot the Pyroscopy, like an idiot. Okay, I'm um, just gonna head back up. All right, there we go. I'll take that, Sunny Jim. Thank you for the flamethrower. I don't know how you got it to me so quickly, but uh, not gonna complain. I'm, uh, I'm just gonna roast these motherfuckers because they kind of deserve, kind of deserve it. Fuck them all. Fuck. Them all. Fuck. I, I really do love this weapon. It's one of the best you can get, and getting it so early on is really great. Now, the bulk collecting is where this is going to get kind of boring, because I'm just going around the level collecting bolts and stuff, and it's just like, eh. But it's a necessary part of the game, so... Really about it too much. I mean, I can, but... It, it, it would be stupid just to complain the entire time. Our health is still full. We got it. Have we gotten it yet? What do you mean? can catch you some bolts that are far away, so that's kind of helpful. It's always nice. Also going to be doing the lag jump. I wouldn't exactly consider that much of a glitch. It's just one other way to move around, which is... I, I wouldn't consider it. I'm pretty sure I got all the ones that are over there. Yeah. Pretty sure. Anyway. Alright. Boy, more bolts. Fall down here. And there's even more bolts. Yeah. Oh, I uh I didn't forget the songs. I'll be back for those. I uh Also, if uh, anyone is wondering why I'm using the uh, flamethrower on crates, it's because I know that I'll be able to conserve my ammo when needed, and using it on a couple of crates is just going to speed things up, which isn't that bad. Yeah, see, I mean, I've, I've got 152 out of 240. That's, that's, that's not bad at all. It's above half, that's not bad. Your chairmanshipiness. All right. 
finally got access to Erwan, which will connect me to the Helipack, which is really good. Back up. And then we're gonna go to Tier 1 first instead of Viridia because I'd rather have the Helipack and Swing Shot when I go there first rather than go to Iridia and then have to go to Metropolis and then go back to Iridia to do that Swing Shot part. I'd, uh, I'd rather not backtrack as much as I have to. I, I, I want to get it. I, I, I just want to kill it. I want to kill that thing? Is that the skill point and shit? Yeah. Blaster, it's 2500. I'll buy it. I got some great bargains for you today. It's, uh, it's a fairly decent weapon. For an early game. Mid game, it's not that bad. But uh, there are other weapons that outclass it. So, I'm gonna go down this route first to get the helipack. Because that's probably the most important thing that I can get at this point. I'm gonna also need to get 1000 bolts for it, so I'm going to need to break all of the crates and kill all of the enemies. I need to Robo Doge. They're not gonna do shit because they're fake. As Fred would say. Uh, this. There we go. That is, uh,. While that probably is gonna happen, I'm hoping that it doesn't, Cyber. I'm hoping that it doesn't. Put it kindly. I really don't want Phil to play uh, the, the Ratchet and Clank PS4 game. That would uh, that would actually be quite terrible. Especially once I get my hands on it and actually see what there is to do in the game, and then once it's finished, you know, just be a giant face palm. I will be getting that game day one. In fact, I pre-ordered it and get the bouncer as well. I, I re I'm really looking forward to using that bouncer. Oh man, that weapon is one of the most iconic. So it's always gonna be nice to use that weapon again from going commando. Mega Protect weapon as well, so it's doing the Solana Galaxy. I don't really know. And again, there's Fongoids as well, so I don't know. Also, hello, Starbit Rose. Welcome to the stream. Do I have a thousand bolts yet? I do. I have well over that. Alright. Pretty sure I've missed a few over here. That is also incorrect, Cyber. He definitely does not need to play Spyro. Don't encourage him, Jab Man. He does not need to play that game. He definitely doesn't. Uh, 
Okay, and here's Lacking Big Al. We saw uh, he he, he, he kind of has a little bit of issues hey, with, uh... Guy, right? no, I, 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 I don't know, I don't think he was, a. Uh, I myself am not a robot guy. His texture is a little bit <laughs> off. <laughs> Nerd. I like him. So now that we that very, up, very what weird. Do well, we if I do say so myself. You will Look, it has holes in it. We're you see? Find Captain Quark. Like in his we back and in his tongue. Your logic is commendable. It's got some holes However, in it. I haven't seen for Captain Quark since we shot reason. that commercial. But anyway. Say, do you run yeah, see? It's kind of okay, noticeable. Alright. Hey, now I've got the helipack. Finally, I'll be able to go around much quicker, and I'll be able to do my 360 high jump. I always do a 360 whenever I use that thing. I don't know why, but I just do. Mostly because it won't—it doesn't really affect my trajectory. Or my height, I should say. The words. Alright. I'm good. Everything's going according to plan. Everyone in the stream, how are you doing? And uh, welcome if you're just joining. There's a flamethrower here. Oh, while I'm at it, while I'm up here, I should probably get that skill point. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go get that skill point. It's for uh, standing in between the legs of that Robo Shack. Spinny thing on the top. I'm gonna go get that real quick after I break all these crates. And I'll and get all these bolts. Alright. Alright. All I have to do is just stand in between the legs, and that counts as a skill point. So, there we go. And a trophy should pop up too because I'm doing this on a new account. Yep, there it is. Yes, I'm going to be collecting all of the trophies in this game, and the others as well. So, it's going to be fun. Most of the trophies in the uh, HD collection are mostly skill points, so I'll be getting skill points as well as trophies all at the same time. All of the skill point trophies will be gotten at the end of this first playthrough of the game. I'll head back into challenge mode to get the gold weapons and the rhino and the million bolts and stuff. Alright. And I'm just gonna head back here, and there is a wall of crates. First I'm gonna stand up here, because there's a couple of bolts up here that I wouldn't be able to get otherwise. Sneaky, sneaky insomniac. Oh, and also ammo is kind of important, maybe. Quite possibly. I don't know. Is it? I mean, if I were just using the range, the, the wrench, ooh. It wouldn't be, but, you know, whatever. Yeah, fuck it, I'll just use... I didn't actually mean to use that, I actually meant to use the wrench. Yeah, who am I kidding? I didn't mean to use that. 
want, at least. It's not like I'm really wasting anything. I can just get that back very easily. TNT crates in a game that is not Crash Bandicoot. Well, I mean, it is from the people that shared an office with Naughty Dog, so, I mean, I mean, it's, it's not that far off. Dogs. Back off. There we go. Were there two spawners over here or one? Uh, I, I forget. Only one? Alright. And up here, there's a gold bolt over there that I need to get. And yeah. Old bolt numero dos. Oh, and there's some crates over here that I missed otherwise. Let me see these. Alright, I think oh, I didn't even know that, that there was a sand mouse house here. I honestly had no idea. I never actually saw that before. Wow. I knew that most levels that had breathing had one, but I didn't actually ever see one in Kermon until now. That's, that's kind of cool. I am a I am going after that blimp. I'm going to try my hardest. I am going to try my hardest to get that blimp this early in the game. Get that skill point. I am going to try my hardest. I want I want to murder that blimp. It it, it it's sporting that Q force look. It's it's very uh. It, it's 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 offending my right to uh, shit talk the Q Force, so and Captain Quark in general, so it's uh, very offensive. It should learn to check its privilege. I identify as a Lombax. Check your Dimensionator privileges at the door. There they. Where is it? I'm up fairly high. So okay, there it is. There's two of them. All right, I'm gonna shoot one of them. I swear. To I I'm gonna shoot one of them. Please tell me I'm in range. Please. Come on. Please. Let me be in range. Come on. Curse you, blaster and your shitty. Wait, I might. I might be able to get it. I might. No, nope, no, nope, no, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. I'm just wasting ammo at this point. Nope. Damn it! I tried. I don't. Yeah, I guess it's not possible this early. You have to use something with longer range, like the Devastator or something, or Visibomb, something. But uh, I was hoping I'd be able to get it. But it's not. Oh well, I can always get it later. At least it gave me some more blast ground. At, at least this game is kind when it when it comes to ammo. Kind of. Rates at least. The, the prices are a bit eh, but eh, whatever. Uh-huh, Planet Eudora, and I'm going to head over here because there's some extra bolts. Alright. And then also here. Some extra as well. Three collisions. So pro. While I'm at it, I'm just gonna you know what? I've had enough of this, I can't do this anymore. I'm gonna I'm, I'm just gonna I can't I can't. Never mind. Uh, you don't, I, I think that in this version you don't have to trigger the cutscene to actually do the fitness course, so it's not really a problem in 
later on, so you're just like, eh, fuck this guy, and just kind of shoot him immediately. So, that's always nice, and that was Gold Bolt Numero Tres. I'm gonna say I'm in Spanish. I don't know why. I just am. For whatever reason. I don't know. I, I, I do a lot of things for... I don't know why. I, 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 I honestly wouldn't be able to tell you why. I do a lot of things in this game. Hey, where's that blimp? It's just mocking me now. There are two of them! There's two fucking blimps and I can't shoot any of them. Fuck them! Can I get either the Visibomb or the Devastator? I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna shoot them both. I hate those. Can I kill him with the... No, I can't. And I can't go around him because I need to talk to him. Excuse me. Eh, it was worth a shot. At least the gold bolts are to be found here. That can be found here are probably simple to find. If you know where to look, at least. Alright, let's start the fitness course. Really easy. Bit of platforming. I guess if anything, this would be the platforming tutorial. They are, Jet man. They really are. They those those fucking blimps. They're just laughing. Yeah, you see it? Look look at it. Look look at it with its fucking face. I'm gonna murder fuck that thing so hard. It's gonna fucking die. Yeah, the, yeah, the taxis are just, yeah, they, they just kind of don't let you die. Which is nice, because if I were to fall off accidentally, that I'd, I'd be pretty pissed. But, I mean, it's, it's, it's for the best, really. I don't, I don't want to fall off while I'm on it, so. Ooh, nice. If I can make it up here. Yep. Alright. This is why I like having the helipack for this part first. And not having it... Not, not having it is... Makes going up here not as fast. So it's nice to kind of have a little bit of speed going through that. I don't know, considering I you don't really see it, any citizens, like any actual NPCs in uh, this, these levels, but I, I mean there's plenty of cars around here, and I'm sure they're not automated. Listen up, you. So uh, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it's only the poor guys that take the taxis, you know, like Ratchet. I mean it is kind of free transportation, so kind of has to take it. You'd probably have to hold it. You'd probably have to hold on to something. I mean, they're probably not as crazy as the ones in Crazy Taxi, but uh, all right, I, I'm not going to be able to. Every time that I play this, the swing shot is always over here, so I'm going to keep it that way. It just feels natural. I guess I should say. Bolt. No. All right. I just remember, I need to get the other gold bolt that is around here as well. Back through the fitness course I go! Get this one real quick and then I'm gonna head to Aridia. Get that swing shot of park done and get the hoverboard. Be my blimp. I'll probably get to somewhere like Umbra's today, and then I'll do more on Sunday. Hey, okay, see over there. It's not.
not strong, he's just agile. Which is good, because otherwise he wouldn't be able to do it. Oh, I almost had that. Almost. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway. There we go. And a bunch of crates to compensate for it as well. So many bolts. And that is Gold Bolt Numero Watch Room. One thing that is actually interesting coming up is going to be that there's a Versa target that ac actually leads nowhere and is just kind of there. Like, once I start writing this taxi, you'll see a uh, Versa target that's kind of there, and if I hook onto it, I'll die. Because it leads nowhere. I'm assuming that it wasn't taken out in time. And what am I doing? Anyway. You'll, you'll, you'll see here in a sec. It's, uh... Where is it? It's right there. That thing. It's out in the middle of nowhere, and I'm assuming that it wasn't taken out before the game was released. So... I, I guess the... There would be more to the level than what was originally, and what is actually here, but I guess some of it was cut due to time, I guess. I mean, they do have plenty more levels to do, and there was... There, there's a fair amount of cut content from this game, so... It wouldn't surprise me. Anyway, uh... Off to Iridia. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm assuming. Alright. Time to... Time to save Skid McMarks. I, 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 I actually really love Skid's character. He's very Skid-ish. I guess you could say. It's him! Skid McMarks! That man from the Infobot. In the flesh, little dude. You guys get a load of that epic space battle I was in? We saw ya, <laughs> screaming for help. Uh, that was like uh -huh, a, war a war cry. cry. Okay. My agent and I got ambushed. That, the way uh, if, if, if that's cry. what you really want to call it. Cry, sir. Yeah, he's okay, but I've had a little trouble getting back to my sprained shirt. ankle. Dude, okay. My sprained ankle. Oh come on. If you can take out all the sand sharks, I just might have a spare right. hoverboard for you. We love. Note how I have. Note how I automatically have out the pyrociter. I did, did I have this thing out? I mean, when I started, I don't think I did. But anyway, it's the perfect weapon to use for this part because you can just, as Doctor Imperius would say, annihilate them. I can't do a good Dr. Mary's voice. I've been... I'll, I'll, I'll try once uh, I start playing Up Your Arsenal in a crack in time, but uh, it won't get any better. I promise you that. That wasn't even the extent of my nefarious voice as well, so... I can blank, but uh, I can't do nefarious. Nefarious is one of my favorite characters in the game, in, uh, the, the games that he is in. Just, uh, over dramatic, quite hilarious, and can be serious when he actually wants to. Then there's Lawrence. Ah, uh, I'm gonna enjoy playing Up Your Arsenal. That was the uh, first Ratchet and Clank game that I played, other than... Yeah, that was, that, that was the first one. Yeah, and Aphrase just has that kind of vibe to him. His craziness and all that stuff it just kind of works for him. 
get it. Fuck my bolts. Yeah, the movie is what I'm waiting for, and then the game that comes out a little earlier than the movie. But, uh, I'm really excited for the movie. I've been, uh, anticipating it since 2013, since I saw the computer trailer. The very thought of one of my favorite franchises hitting the big screen is, it's, it's, it's very amazing, and, uh, when put into perspective. Here, man. Catch. I, uh, I've heard many times that Insomniac is done with, uh, Spyro and they just couldn't really do anything more with the series. Which is why they added in all those extra characters such as Agent 9, Sheila, Bentley, Sergeant Bird, and all those guys because Spyro didn't really have hands and he couldn't really do anything with it. You see, Ratchet has hands so he can, like, use a bunch of different weapons separates him from Spyro, but I, I, I do agree, I, I really want to see another Spyro game that is actually good, and sticks to the classic formula, but sort of adds something new to it, not anything terrible, or not have it executed poorly, but I don't know, I, I, I'd really love to see what they can do with that. A new Spyro game would always be nice. I did see the, uh, thing where a fan was remaking the Artisan's World in uh, Unreal Engine 4 or 5, I, I'm not sure. But either way, that looked really good, and I really hope that that gets finished. Yeah, I am super excited to get my hands on the Ratchet & Clank PS4 game. It is the sole reason I would even buy a PS4, actually. Just to see one of my favorite franchises get its next installment. Not only that, but it doesn't it, 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 it doesn't bug me that I'm trying to get 30 FPS. So unless the PS is actually stable, unlike it was in full frontal assault and into the nexus, then I don't really have a problem with it. As long as the game plays well, it'll actually be fine. The only thing that I'm really kind of concerned about are the con is the control scheme. Like, say, I for one am used to the full frontal assault into the nexus control scheme, but I also enjoy the A Crack in Time control scheme the most. Personally, I'm more into the Wolf of the Salt one because I play that more competitively. But, you yeah, know. That, that, that's, that's the only thing that I'm really worried about. If they give you an option to switch that up and sort of set the controls to whatever, then I think it'll be fun. Oh, be fun. I actually think that there's no bad Ratchet and Clank games, and I even quite like All for One, Full Frontal Assault, and Into the Nexus. I especially like Into the Nexus because it was just fan service, basically. It was homage to the old Ratchet and Clank fans, the ones that had wanted them to make a one like the originals, and they finally did, and it was awesome. It, it, it was a good way to end the PS3 era, in my opinion. I mean, a crack in time would have done it, but hey, if they were to end on a, another high note into the Nexus was definitely the next best thing. Definitely.
the Sly Cooper movie, I honestly hope that they actually go the direction plank route and get the voice actors that did voice the characters in it, such as Kevin Miller for Sly Cooper. I was really kind of mad that he didn't actually end up getting the part for Sly Cooper because that's the only person that's actually played Sly Cooper in uh, all of the games, and getting a new voice for him would be kind of weird, and it would, it would be kind of difficult to get used to. I, I got all for one for Christmas one year, and I also got a Cratchit and Clank Future Quest for Booty as well out of that one, so I got a two for one deal out of it. It was, uh, it was fun, since I, since I was mostly with my brother and we used to play that game quite a bit, it, 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 it was nice. Oh wait, hold on, I'm gonna actually get the skill point here first. Let me see if I even can. Yep. There we go. Trophy? No? Oh well, it was worth a shot. Oh, hey, whatever you're into. <laughs> but yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's fun. It's, uh, since I live in the U.S., the, you could only get it digitally, so. Anyway. Yes. Now I have the Trespasser. Which will allow me to hack into these things. The Trespasser puzzles are really interesting and can get somewhat complicated later in the game. Also, I'm just gonna get this one down here because it's so obvious. Yeah, my copy of Into the Nexus also came out with Quest. Also came with Quest for Booty, however I had no use for it at that time and I kinda just lost the voucher. So I honestly have no idea where that went, so I couldn't redeem it or give it to a friend or someone. Also, I will be right back. There is someone at the door. Hold on a sec. Alright, we're back. 
me get my controller. Alright, so. Trespasser. This puzzle's relatively easy as it's just kind of getting you used to the layout of the puzzles. Really nothing special, just kind of showing you how to do it. Also, I'm not gonna <laughs> take that elevator, there's no fall damage in this game, unlike Jack and Daxter. So, yeah. The noise those guys make whenever they... Whenever they just fall, fall over and die. V very satisfying, I must say. Especially when you're shooting them with the blaster. I don't know what it is about shooting these guys with the blaster, but it just it makes it so much better. I don't know why, it, it, it just does. For me, at least. The uh, HD collection is PS3. Only. Or if you want to get it on Vita, but I wouldn't recommend it on Vita because it has much, much more visual glitches and sometimes crashes. I'd recommend it on PS3, which is what I'm playing it on, as you can get all of the Ratchet & Clank games that were made by Insomniac, at least, on PS3, including this one, Link Commando, of your Arsenal, Deadlock, it's a slightly buggy port, but it's all that I've got, so. Then we've also got... The PS3 games, Tools of Destruction, Quest for Booty, A Crack in Time, All for One, Full Frontal Assault, and Into the Nexus. Which I will be playing over the course of the next two months. In their complete entirety. Whatever you want to call it. I don't know. I will be completing them 100%, including Platinum Trophy. That's my plan. This. I think this one might take a little bit longer than the others because I'll be get, just trying to get through the levels and just collecting bolts for a while. So, because the 1 million bolt trophy, and I'm not just gonna grind overnight for it because that'd be kind of. I, I, I don't know. I just don't wanna do it that way. It'd be quicker, but I don't want to do it that way. I know I can do it legit. I've done it legit many times, so... Deadlocked HD is interesting, because because it has a couple of... It has a few frame rate issues. Well, not... But only when things are on screen, really. Then, a couple of the cutscenes are glitched, and uh, Vox's teeth kind of pop out of his, his... His gums pop out of his mouth, and it's just kind of weird looking. Kind uh, of no creepy. Whatsoever. This downtime is killing me! Do you need medical attention, sir? Don't make uh, me yeah, I... I problem is I'm stranded have on this all my streams archived. And, my and I'll probably found. upload it to my hey, YouTube channel as well. We saw you so. on that info pod. You're Skid's agent. Was Skid's agent. I haven't seen him since our ship crashed. And an agent without a client is like a flea. Down, Beso, literal son. This downtime is killing me. Do you require attention, sir? Medical attention, sir? Don't be so literal, son. Uh, I love that line. Okay. There is one other gold bolt that's over there. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna head over. I'm gonna head back over the other way to get it. Oh yeah, Deadpool. I hear a lot of people talking about that. I heard that it's good. So. the easiest way to get that this whole bolt because going the other way it's not really guaranteed that you'll actually get it. 
And there's also this unique camera angle that's not like the other ones that you get from finding a gold bolt, so... Oh no. I don't wanna just fall over and die, that would be bad. I'm also gonna get some more ammo. Do I actually need any? No I don't, actually. Okay. I'm perfectly fine with that. Yeah, Clank's voice isn't exactly what you'd expect it to be. Uh, it, it, uh, David K fits the uh, character perfectly. So, and over the years he's gotten more used to playing the voice of Clank, so he's kind of just fine-tuned it, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm gonna head to Eudora now. Unlock, gonna get the suck cannon as well, which is actually a very useful thing to get. Yes, quite lovely. That should just about. Also, I really Commander, love uh, Kevin Michael Richardson's uh, voice for Drek, and I'm kind of sad that he won't be playing the voice of Drek in the movie and the game. Yes, you have fulfilled your. But I, I, I really, we I really. Not Do so fast, want the movie Lieutenant. to succeed. Just because we don't need any more trees doesn't and mean And I'm definitely Asia. gonna miss this voice. It just Destroy sounds evil and just everything. everything. Anyway, time to head to the planet with the most hillbilly of robots. You know, they're just kind of chopping them. I, I don't know. It was a poor joke. I'm sorry. Alright. I'm, I'm gonna get the suck cannon first. Well, actually, no. First, I'm going to get this gold bolt. Actually, wait. Where is it? Yeah, it's up here. There we go. Alright, I think that's gold bolt number... Trace? Yeah, that was yet there, I'm not sure. The main reason I think that is, is because you can't move after you throw it. You stay in one position. Meanwhile, in the other Ratchet and Clank games, going Commando onward, you would be able to throw it and then be able to freely move and jump, which I actually use to my advantage because the, the trick that I use it for the wrench sometimes is I throw it and then I jump in the air and then when it comes back to me I do a hyper speed. I it doesn't often work, but it's one of the things that I learned to do back when I originally played the demo of All for One way back in 2011. I didn't get into the series right away, so I was as a kid I more so played Sly Cooper. So those games have a special place in my heart, but these games I learned to enjoy really quickly after I played uh, Up Your Arsenal for the first time. So, it's always nice. Jesus Christ, that chainsaw was so close. I know, the, I know those things can't hurt me, but Jesus Christ, man. Wait, I didn't throw it? Oh, I can't throw it like that. 
I didn't thought you could. Actually, no, wait. Let me test this. No, you can't. Okay. Oh, well. It's not a huge loss, so... I rostered her out because I know that there's those little mini robots that are on the other head. Oh, and the uh, oh, and those uh, rather uh, skinny blocks that have the uh, last one. There's one thing that I've noticed. It's that there really isn't a thing where you have a certain weapon that's unique in your arsenal. Well, okay, rather other than the drone device, and a couple of others. But for the most part, weapons such as the Pyrocitor, Blaster, Tesla Claw, they get used by enemies. And you have to try to use counter weapons against those. Like say with the Blaster, it would be kind of wise to use a Blaster against it. However, I'm just complaining because I'm, I'm an idiot, so... Well, there's an attack right here, so it doesn't matter. Nope. Oh man, yep, I knew I was gonna get hit there because you can't move when you throw the wrench. It's like I threw the wrench, saw the shot, and was like, "Ah, oh, shit." Yeah. It's it, it's it's whatever. I mean, just one hit. It can add up if I get careless, but I'm not careless. I'm not gonna try to at least. I just wanted to do that. I think that might be a skill point, but I'm not I'm, I'm gonna wait until I get the devastator and get the bomb for that. Because by that point I'll be doing all of those skill points where you have to hit down a certain number of vehicles in a level, so I'm gonna wait for that. Oh shit, I didn't even notice that guy was there. Fuck you. Going fairly well. A thousand volts. That, that, that's that's nothing to frown at. So why is there dust in the middle of the ring of the tree? Are you insinuating something on how you're uh, cutting down these trees, game? Don't try to do that to me. I I, I don't want to think like that. And now that I pointed it out. It's I, I, I regret doing that immensely. And then again, those uh, those platforms, they kind of drill into the... You know what, I'm done. I, I, you know, no, nope, nope, I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna go that route, nope. You'll, you'll, you'll see with this, it, it just kind of goes into the tree trunk. For whatever reason. I better hurry up there. I already wasted time getting the ammo. There we go. Alright. I made it. Glove of Doom. I don't even have the Glove of Doom yet, and you're giving me Glove of Doom ammo. Don't. Wh why do you expect me to have that that weapon on me at this moment? I don't have it. And I'm probably not going to buy it until I get the Persuader, actually, because I don't actually like it. Or at least I don't use it as often 
as it would be to buy it. I'd rather just get it discounted than just hold the bag. It'd be the better route to go. Right. I don't know what I was thinking even enough. Flamethrower on out. I don't know. Anyway, I'm close to getting the suck cannon, so nearly 12,000 bolts. It's pretty good. So yeah, it's a good idea to buy the blaster because at least some sort of ranged weapon is nice. I don't know, I guess it's just out of out of Usually I'm using a gold Tesla cloth, and that's this is the second and this is the thing that's closest to that, so. Okay. Yeah, the environment is very destructive, and that's one of the things that I really like about this game, is that it gives you that opportunity to do it. Alright, now I've got the suck can. I'm not actually going to be using it all that much. Yes, it is very sucky. Very sucky indeed, but I'm not going to be using it too much. I'll probably use it on Pokitaro though, because those, uh, those uh, fish with the spikes... Those things are very annoying. I'm also use them once I get the Morpho Ray, and I'll be able to get some... I'll be able to squeeze some extra bolts out of every enemy. So... I mean, it'll have its uses. It's just not useful to me right now. So until then, I'm not gonna be really using it. Don't get me wrong, the Suck Cannon is one of my personal favorites in Up Your Arsenal, that is. But it also has its purposes in this game, so... This part really isn't anything to do with enemies, so... I'm gonna have me weapon out. Just some simple platforming in the main part of the level. First the targets. And another one of these. This one introduces the uh, blue thing that will block out the beams, so I mean it doesn't really cause any sort of trouble. But yeah. There's that, and now this guy. You sure showed him. I suppose I did. Anyway. The Blark Tactical now Station. The BTS. I'll go to that next. Why well, I'm gonna take a quick five minute break. I will be right back.
Alright, I'm back. Okay, so I'm gonna go until the top of the hour, so I'm probably going to be able to get two more levels done. The BTS, or BS, no wait, yeah, it is the BTS. And I'm gonna also get Blackwater City done, so that should be fun. Now, I don't know if I'll get the skill point or not, but I, I, I guess we'll see. There are a couple of skill points that I do need to get, so... And then also any gold bolts that I might have missed. But I don't think I've missed any that I can't get, so... Back to the Blark Station. Back, you know, like I've been here before. When I, I, I haven't. Uh, oh yeah, this is one, oh yeah, this is one of the, oh, excuse me, Dan Johnson Easter eggs. His face is seen on the computers. Classic Dan. Alright, I go here first to get the grind boots. And also, see if I can get the skill point to be the alien queen without using anything except the wrench, so... These guys, I don't know why they wear helmets when they're safe indoors. Like, I guess they can't take them off. Yeah, yeah, Dan hid himself in a couple of pretty well hidden places throughout the games, and especially this one. Oh, no, you know. Where am I at? Oh, I'm good. Okay. I think it's this one. Um, here, and then... Alright, there we go. Sermon doesn't have a gold or anything. Right? Uh... Eh, fuck it. There's plenty of ammo crates, so... Ah, why not? Okay. No. Ah. Well, set the death count to one. Mark my word, that will be one of the very few times that I die through this. I do not plan to get very many deaths in this game at all. I refuse. It's not gonna happen. I can promise you that. Violet Kitty, and welcome to the stream. I wonder, can I suck these things up with a suck cannon? No, not until they break, okay. That makes more sense. It's incredibly satisfying. Right there. That's what I wanted to do. Back. Whoa. Whoa. I almost fell off there. Oh, oh, yeah. 
All right, that that was that was that was bad taste. All right, Get more of these things. There we go. Some of these crates are actual crates, and some aren't. So. Alright, now we get to these guys. I really don't like these enemies. They're, uh... I hate them. I mean, they're easy to hit with the wrench and the flamethrower combo, but other than that, they're, uh, kind of garbage. Oh yeah, and the introduction of steel crates, which can only be killed by, right, or broken by, a TNT expl- or any kind of explosion, really. Or, it, or later on in the thrust attack, uh, I thought to slam down the... <coughs> Million Shadow? Alright. I didn't even- Whoa, I didn't even know you could break those lights. Wow. I guess I learned something new about this game every day. Can I break this? No. Why is this pipe- Oh, I think that's the pipe that was in the movie. The Infobot. Yeah, that, I think that's the pipe that was in the info bot. So... Look how they did that. Um, I will buy the taunter though, because this acts like a box anything. breaker, and I really like that about this. So... I'm definitely gonna use that, but not here. That'd be kind of Yeah, see? Watch. It acts like a box breaker. And combine that with the bolt grabber that you get early, uh, later on in the game, it, it, it becomes amazing and very quick to get bolts. The sound of farts and whistles can break the crates. I don't know if it's a play on how sound can break certain objects like glass if it's high, if it's high pitched enough, or if, if that's just something that they left there that was, or maybe it was intentional. Who knows? That's a good point, my girl. I'm not sure what the fuck you are. I'm just gonna stick to a bit of long range, because that's a bit more helpful. Alright, now I'm gonna have to take out this next boss, the first boss actually, with nothing but the wrench, so I've only got like four bits of health, so let's let's see if I can do this. The boss itself is not gonna be the problem, it's gonna be the enemies that the boss spawns. And the boss has already taken a bit of health, a bit of damage, and I didn't even do anything to it, so I don't think I'll be able to get it right away. 
get the skill point right away, I mean. I'm not sure why or why not, because I haven't really done anything to do that, so I'm not sure. I can also kill these guys with the wrench simply because I think that's just not to have out a weapon. Other than that, this boss is relatively easy, especially for just doing that, and then taking these things out with, okay, it's it's easier to take one of them out at a time, but both, it's uh, much more difficult. At least I don't have to get hit, at least there's not a, you, you have, you can't get hit sort of thing. That's nice. Did I get the skill point? I did. Awesome. I was unsure if I was going to get that one, but, uh, hey. That's cool. Also going for platinuming the game, so that'll be fun. Yeah, well, you guys will, you know, just kind of you know, go and attack Fred over there. Oh yeah, that's right. This this guy's name is Fred. Whew! Thought I was a goner this time. Some nano wit in genetics must have left the cages open again. You could come down now. Well, All right. Thanks. I'm Ryan gonna get out of here while. Love these things. In general, I like the grind boots. Did I miss any crates? No. Do I have ammo in? Yep, I do. Alright. Had to make sure. Health. I'm good with that. Oh yeah, there's bolts on this. I, I always forget that because I just mindlessly get them because I usually have the bolt grabber because I always play this in challenge mode. Starting from a new game, it just kind of shows you what is sort of what you can and can't do right away. And it just kind of puts into perspective just how powerful you really are. Uh, yeah, no, wait. That's what I wanted to do. Okay. And now for the first clank. The, the clank sections in the... In this game specifically, I... While they actually remind me of Oddworld, mostly, um... The... Eh, I guess I do kind of like them, but at the same time, they're kind of boring. In, in my opinion, they're the worst part of the game, and also there's that gold bolt over there. That's right. You can't hide. Can't get you. Moment. But you can't hide either. So, uh... The controls kind of, well, the gliding at least, reminds me of Spyro, kind of, simply because you have to press X twice to glide, or actually for this guy it's more so press X once, press X again, however, hold down the X button to glide, so there's not really many comparisons you can make to Spyro and Clank, other than the fact that they can glide, that, that, that's really it. up here. Person 
definitely. I, 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 I like how everything is just kind of made for a clank style gameplay. It's like there's things here that you wouldn't be able to find elsewhere. And then there's Clank going slow as fuck. Can't normally take out those things. So instead we're gonna use the gadget bots. These things, I swear. But yeah, these these really re do remind me of the Mudokins in uh, Odd World, the ones that you try to save at least simply because you can make them do stuff as well. Oh, none of you guys died. Awesome. Usually, at least one of them ends up dying, and I have to go back and get them. Not, it's not like the other games where they just kind of automatically follow you. Which I wish they did in this game. I don't know what they were thinking. Oh yeah, we'll just make them run back. It's just like, that's kind of tedious. I don't want to do that. I, I, Why can't they just, if they die, they respawn immediately. That, it saves us a whole lot of time. <laughs> but yeah, going commando really uh, improved on what this game was lacking in. Yeah, that is true. Well, I'm not really sure what that one is. Anyway. Is that Kerwan up there? Or Altanus? I think that... Oh. I, uh... I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh. I'm all the way back. Oh, wait. I'm fine. I didn't mean to do that. Whoops. One for Ratchet, one for Clank. They're even in deaths. I'm back. So you are. It's two. It's two. I didn't die a third time. Yet. Alright, and... Last part for... BTS is the warship. Gonna take this thing out. Here is you. Fucking enemies. Although then again, I don't think roasted lark would be a delicacy. Especially one that's charred and broiled. It's just I, I don't think it would be very tasty. Larks are kind of bleh anyway. Oh god, and okay. I forget. I don't have the gold Tesla claw, so I can't just go right in and kill them. Instead, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to use the bomb glove and just kind of go from there. I sometimes forget that you need to actually strategize if you don't have something OP as shit. I don't know, I guess that's my one major downfall with playing these games again. I'm just starting from scratch. Yeah, now, okay, now I've got, now I've hit three deaths. Oh wait, there's enemies in here. That one, was, that, that, that one was kind of glitching into the wall. Did anyone else see that? Oh, 
There we go. Alright, there we go. Much easier. Thank you for selecting the Of course, we must hit the big red shiny feature. button. Vessel annihilation sequence initiated. Please remove all personal belongings. All right, let's get out of here. This is a little So much well, should leave now. I guess I was supposed to go the other way. Yeah, because there's a ghost thing over there. It's still gonna... Actually, you know what? I don't have time for this. The ship may now self-destruct. Have a nice day. There we go. Okay, that was a close one. This is Darla Gratch, reporting ah, live from Blackwater, Blackwater City. City. We've just learned that Captain Cork will be presenting the grand prize at the Intergalactic Hoverboard Championship, which will be held here over the next few days. In related news, this planet has recently been suffering from an infestation of strange amoeboid creatures. The city's administration yeah, there is a trophy for buying Rhino, and there's also a trophy for getting one million bolts in this game. Nuisances. So Don't that's going to be fun. Channel two news. Did you see that? Anyway, judging from the time, I think I'll be able to get Blackwater City done. Let's see, was there anything that I forgot at BTS? I don't think so. I did get girl trouble. No, I don't no, I don't think that there was anything that I could forget that I forgot about. And if there is, I'll come back for it. I have the map matic I'll be able to tell. What all I'm missing. And I always go this way first, so. There hasn't been one playthrough of this game that I've played where I go the other way first. It's always this way. Yeah, you know, I'm surprised that those tanks are not as strong as the things back at the... Those aliens back at the Tactical Research Station. I'm honestly surprised, because those things took like two bombs, these things take one. Yes, yes it is incredibly boring to get a million bolts in this game, but uh, I'll do it. Well, it does look well, it's definitely gonna help me there. Actually, you know what? Hold on. 
I'm gonna let these guys take out the enemy void. Yeah, and it's especially not hard once you get the bolt grabber, because then they'll all just gravitate towards you. And it becomes really easy getting them. City? Yeah, it is. All, all you need is the decoy glove, which I don't have yet, so I can't do it yet. If I were to do it. No, there's a way to get to the area where you do the racing by glitching through the wall with the decoy glove. And if you use the taunter in a specific area, you'll be able to farm for bolts there. Because they immediately respawn. It takes a long time, but you can eventually do it. Oh yeah, that's right, that's not an enemy. Rhino for your robot. Trade you. Well... Okay. Ratchet. I'm kidding. Sorry. He's not for sale. What's a Rip rhino? Ya a new one. What did you just say to me? R-Y-N-O. Rip ya a new one. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get that thing this playthrough. I've got other things that I need to- I, and I- 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 Jesus Christ. I wasn't expecting you guys to show up immediately. Jesus. Um, you shit. I always thought that there was going to be a mini boss, like these three amoeboids just kind of form into one, and then you fight it. I, I always thought that that would be a cool mini boss, but uh, nah, it's just the generic three amoeboids. Yeah, that, yeah, that's what I did. I kind of just, uh wedged my circle button in between a book or something and just kind of left it on all night while I slept. Uh, that was that, that was one summer I'll never forget. So wait, why am I killing? I actually want to make these guys do the work for me. No, don't kill me! Kill them! There you go! Actually, wait, I don't think I'm gonna get bolts from that shit. I mean, I think they could if they went back to the level and killed all the enemies over and over and over and just kind of grinded that way, but uh, I, I, I wouldn't want to do it. I would hate I would hate to do that. That'd just be pure boring and tedious grinding. I don't wanna do that. I mean, I'll do it by playing through the game the way it's meant to be played, but uh, why they implemented a get one million bolts trophy, I will I I will never know. It was a dumb move. Especially in this game, where 
very hard to come by. Or at least you can't get that many as you can in later games. If only there was a bolt multiplier in challenge mode. That 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 would that would make it a that would make it much easier, in my opinion. But hey, at least these changes were made in Ratchet and Clank going commando. Well, there are definitely people that would do it. People that would play a game for 110%. And I've also got to get that gold bolt. This, uh, this is just the most trolling thing in here. It, I, I'm pretty sure the kids were just like, okay, what, 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 how do I get that? Something. 200,000 would have been a little bit more expensive than the rhino, so I mean, uh, that, that, that would be good. Also, why not get this gold bolt? Gonna try not to fall. Yeah. Aww. At least those are doable within a certain amount of time. With uh, this game, you're more or less gonna be like grinding like five or six playthroughs, and I did it again. What the fuck? have to wrench out. There we go. Bolt number nine or ten, I'm not sure. Either Weve or Diaz. I'm not sure. Oh. Health is my Yeah, having something that's game breaking as the Rhino is very, very. It it, it makes it makes it it makes it just so that you can just relax and just murder everything with just a simple press of the circle button. Yeah, and Trek is a very difficult boss considering the game's controls and stuff. He is definitely very hard. Compared to the part of the completed prototype. I'm at it. I don't know why this is a thing, but uh... If you flip near this... One check. Uh, the her uh, restlessness start growing, and I'm I'm not sure why this is a thing either. I don't know. 
I, 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 I honestly don't know why this is a thing. It's just there. And I'm not sure why. Who thought that was a good idea to put in? Especially for a game that's rated E. I don't even think E... T oh no wait, this game was rated T for teen way back in the day because at that point the E10 rating wasn't out. But anyway, let, let's let's do the hoverboard track now. Oh, I don't have the thing that allows me to do tricks and actually get boost from that, so I'm gonna have to improvise with rings and the meat voids. But I'll still be able to get first, pretty easy. Who knows, maybe if I'm lucky I'll actually be able to get the skill point as well. But only if I'm actually lucky. Usually I'm not. I'm not that lucky. I don't think I'll be able to though. But yeah, it's uh, on this track that you'd be able to do the 1 million volts glitch. Oh, uh, will I be able to get the skill point? I, I'm pretty sure I'll cut it close, but I don't think I'll be able to get it. Oh, no, wait. How did I make it past that? I, I swear, I should have crashed there. I don't know why I didn't, but I'm glad that I didn't as well. So, am I, I, am I actually going to make it? Oh, uh, no, I almost made it. Hi folks, Captain Quark here. It is my distinct pleasure to introduce this year's Hovercon Intergalactic Champions. Let's give it up for newcomers. Ratchet. Of course, it's. Hey, look, just, that's us. Wow. Today's winners will take home a brand new professional. Oh uh, yeah, model it also affects the cutscenes that she's in too. Later. So. Manufactured by Gadgetron, this hoverboard drive delivers more lift, speed, and maneuverability than any other anti-grab device on the market. Yeah, it is one of the more difficult uh, skill points to get, but uh, I'm pretty good at these, so I'll be able to do it. Oh, come on, I'm, I'm trying to do the one with... Nope, still not able to do it. Fine, I'll do it off the giant ramp. Actually, no, wait. I'll do this because that's actually a skill point. Aha! There's multiple skill points for the hoverboard challenges. Aha! Take that game. Oh. Okay, I'm probably not gonna be able to get the skill point. I'm gonna try though. Definitely gonna try. Okay, yeah, now I'm gonna quit and retry. Oh. There we go. Finally, I was able to do that. But yeah, the hoverboarding and doing tricks and all that, it reminds me of Spyro 3 with the skateboarding and all that stuff. Which, I, I really like the skateboarding in Spyro 3. Aw, oh, damn it, I failed that again. I'm hurt. Jesus Christ. I'm not sure though. Big L. I might be able to make it this time. 
not sure though. If I don't, well, I, I mean, I'm still getting some bolts, so... I guess this is one way to grind for bolts. That makes it a little bit less hard. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh, are you kidding me? I was so close! God damn it! I'm trying that again. I don't care. Come on. That's just sad. So close. Just, just so close. All right, I'll, I'll get it this time. Hopefully. if I'll be able to make it. Oh yeah, that seems to play whenever uh, you hit continue. Or, uh, again, I don't, I'm not sure why. I guess it makes you out of the... I'm, I'm not gonna make it. I'm not... No, nope, I'm not gonna make it. Oh, I didn't even get any bolts that time. I don't think so. I don't. Fuck off, skid clone. Back off. Still gave me the scratcher plus crunchy. I was trying to do the snaggle beast. That can be taken so far out of context. Holy shit. How did I pull that off? I thought I was gonna hit. I thought I was gonna hit one of the TNT crates. Holy shit! All right, I might be able to make it. I think I'll be able. No, nope. okay. I swear, I thought I was gonna. Am I gonna make it? I made it. Okay, that's good. Awesome. Great way to finish this up. Alright. Um. Well, it's now time for me to. You know what? I th I'll, I'll, I'll do the next part of the level because it's not as long as this. Alright, alright, after I do the next portion of the level, I'm gonna sign off for the night. I do want to get this place done. Yeah, somehow symbolizing how difficult it is when it's, it's not as it's not that hard if you know how to do it. Alright, I'm going to make good use of the Hydra Displacer now. I'm going to also get some bolts while I'm at it.
Why aren't I just using that? Just using that. I just gotta do the 360 height. The only way to do it. Oh look, it's Freddy Boy. Ah, oh, come on, I have to play this game blind now? That's bullshit! God damn it, Cyber, why did you have to tell on me? Just need to break this. There we go. But then I can't complete the game! What? Nap, 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 nap. Oh god, don't wanna drown. Alright. This next part has a very steep learning curve. Uh, basically, if you can't get to the end, you, you, well, you're, you're, you're fucked. Basic. That, that's just the basics of it. You're fucked. Simple as that. Alright. Bolt around here before I start this. And let go. Come on, come on. Alright. At this point, I can't really care about the bolts too much. I just simply gotta make it. And if I do that, then I'll be fine. Just gotta hurry. Go over there, me boys. Just gotta ignore them. Alright, we're making good progress. Probably gonna make it. Most likely gonna make it. Alright. Come on. Just a little bit higher, and alright, I've got some more oxygen, and okay. I made it. Phew! I'll be back later when, when I have the O2 mask and uh, Hydro Pack to get that gold bolt that's down there. But uh, until then, we've, uh, we've got this guy to deal with. Hey, 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 press cover! Captain like press Parker, the one so. report is bugging him in his trailer! Oh, you see, my friend and I need to speak to the captain about a matter of galactic security. You mean you and your camera. camera? You paparazzi make me sick. Now beat it. But sir, I'm sure the I, I'm not sure that a camera can speak. talk. Oh, now save it. I know how it works. But you uh, convince me to let you, you know. in. You snap a picture of the captain in his underpants. Underpants. Then you sell a picture to the info tabloid for a million. Okay, that would be the easy way to get a million well, bolts, and I wish that I could do that in this game. And I have to listen to a if, 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 if there was some way to do that, so, so that I can get that million bolts trophy so much quicker, please. But no, instead I gotta pay you. Fuck you. You see how it works. You grease the hinges. The door opens. Captain Quark. What's that? It's Ratchet uh, and Clank, First Captain. time that they you meet know, Quark. Oh, yes, yes, I know who you are. You do? Yes, and thank the galaxy you found me. Huh? There's an awful plot being hatched to destroy our planets. Ratchet, he knows. Great. Does that mean we can go hoverboarding now? My friend. What makes one man die oh, yeah, in obscurity while another thing. becomes a hero? Is it strength, <laughs> compassion, determination, or just pure blind luck? 
Wise men through the ages have struggled with that very question. The only but thing Captain the court knows, knows how to do secret. is put on is he's what he's to going to wear. And even then, he sometimes mixes the that up. More civilizations than any it's other not hero cool. The galaxy. Now is your opportunity yeah, to sure, see if okay. you got the stuff yeah, heroes right. are made of. This infobot contains coordinates to Quark's secret base. Can you quickly Mom. conquer Quark's killer cannonade of confounded contraptions? Can you quickly quark? Can can you quarkly quick? No. Oh. Just make your way through the defenses to the center of the base. Prove yourself. Learn the secret and earn your place in galactic history. I mean, Consult you know, usually I'd rather you know, not try to die, but your results may vary. or I'd try not to die. I should say. Ugh. Meet me at. Uh, meet me at my uh -huh. headquarters. You were about to say that with a microphone in your hand? We won't fail you, sir. We promise. Jesus Christ, you are dumb. I'm gonna open that up. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, we've, uh... That's gonna be the end of the stream. <laughs> that's a good one. But yeah, uh... Next time I stream will be on Sunday. And I will continue on with Planet Umbris and the and start the second portion of Ratchet and Clank. So until then, uh, I'll see you guys later. Great way to end the stream, by the way. <laughs>